there. This is Robin Bremer, and robinbremer.net is my website. And today, I'm going to talk about something that everybody's freaking out about. I'm talking about four facts and reasons why you should vote for, why you should vote, and why Trump is the best vote. Okay. Now I'm going to put an outline, a short little outline underneath of why I believe this. And number one, and, and this is so simple and so obvious, and I hope that you share this with your, with your friends. So here goes. Four facts and reasons why you must vote and why Trump is the best vote. Number one, God's not in charge. Okay, God gave man authority and dominion and told him to, to subdue everything that didn't line up with the word of God. So the reason everything's in a mess and everything's happening is because Christians aren't standing up, taking their authority, speaking to their TV, taking dominion and say, you know, don't do this, don't go there. Talking to the spirit behind all of this stuff, behind our leadership. So we have to vote, even though I believe God's vote is Trump, we have to vote him in because we are in a partnership. God does his part and we do our part. God needs a physical body to rule on earth and we are the physical body so if we don't physically vote he doesn't get his man in even though he wants I believe Trump in that place and I'm going to tell you why uh, in, a, in a few minutes but uh, God has put man in charge man is a physical being we live in a physical world even though we are spiritual and we have a body we live in a body and we have a soul we are still uh, are we have this physical body in order to contact this physical world. And so physically we must vote. And God is in partnership with us. So Christians need to vote. Okay. So number one. God's not in charge. He gave man, man authority and dominion to subdue and rule and bring in line everything that's not in line with his will. And these number two. You vote for the leaders that agree with the word of God. Not necessarily by their behavior, but by what they promote and what they support. Okay, so you need to vote for your leaders according to what they support, what they promote, and what they believe in when they get into leaderships, into that leadership position that agrees with the word of God. If it does not agree with the word of God, then don't mm -hmm. vote for that party. For example, the Bible says, when the righteous are in leadership, the people rejoice. So, it benefits the ungodly, the unrighteous, the unsaved people as much as it benefits us. When godly people are in leadership, the whole country will profit. So, we want our country to rejoice, our people to rejoice. And the fact is, when godly people are in leadership, the people rejoice. The Bible says that. So number three, okay, number two was vote for leaders that agree with the word of God on by what they promote, by what they support. Number one was God's not in charge. You are. You're partners with God. You have to vote. Okay, you have to spend time seeking God. Number three, don't vote according to the media. To the media. Do not vote according to the media, okay? The media promotes what they are most interested in, what will benefit them, what will profit them. The media will smear and slime everything. Do not believe the media. Believe the word of God. Um, and I see somebody saying that there's no way that they would vote for uh, Trump. Well, like I said, listen to what I'm saying here. You are in charge by not voting. You are not partnering with God okay and by not voting for somebody who promotes and supports biblical concepts like life whether it's just born or in the body or well I'm just I'm getting ahead of myself let me continue where I was at okay don't vote number three don't vote for by media events smears personalities and what the media tells you, vote by what they stand for. If there is one most important message that I can get across to you, vote for what these believer, these uh, these candidates support and promote. Okay, if they if they don't promote and support things, 
in their speeches that agree with the word of God, don't vote for them. And right there you could get rid of one of them because that one believes in abortion. Well, the Bible says from, from you were conceived in your parents' womb. What You know, an angel is assigned to you when you're conceived, not when you're born to protect you. So don't vote for somebody who does not agree with with the word of God. So number one, most, 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 most important thing is vote for the person that lines up with Bible. The most important things in our country right now in the Bible. And that's what they stand for. Okay. If they don't stand for that, don't vote for them. Okay. So number three, let's do A, B, and C. Okay. Vote for somebody according to what they stand for, not according to their behavior, not according to their history, not according to the what the media says their history is and their behavior and so on. Vote for them according to what they stand for. Okay. Do they, number one, do they protect our country? Number one. Or A, do they protect our country? Vote for somebody who protects our country, even if it comes to excluding others, even if it's calling others not equal at this time till they go through a screening process to be accepted into our country. Only vote for the person that, will protect our country. And even if that means they'll say that certain people are excluded, you cannot come into our country, you cannot have equal rights, okay? If somebody comes into our country and wants to change our constitution, what we believe in and what we value, then they have no right to live in this country. The, the person, the president, the person that you vote for has to protect our country, even at the exclusion perhaps, of excluding certain people. All people are equal, but not all people have the same rights, okay? Somebody who just came out of prison is not going to have the same rights as somebody who comes to our country and believes in Sharia law is not going to have the same rights or should not have the same rights. They, according to uh, our president, our president needs to protect the country, okay? Second thing, our uh, the person you vote for must stand for protecting the rights of the people okay if the person you're voting for is not going to protect your rights according to our constitution not change the constitution constitution but protect our rights to bear arms and other things to protect ourselves then don't vote for that person because they are taking away your country's right okay vote for the person that stands for protecting our foundation if they do not protect the foundation that this country was founded on and i'm talking about christian values i'm not talking about thou shall not thou shall not don't do this don't do that i'm talking about basic common sense christian values if the person you vote for does not stand for protecting our foundation don't vote for them okay i'm looking at some of the things that you said um, wait a minute. Okay, now, if the person, if the person that you are voting for does not stand for protecting the people, I'm not talking about people that were born here I'm ta or are here legally, but the person you vote for must stand for protecting the people. I'm talking about the people of the United States. The people who are born here or here legally, who have gone through our system to be here legally. Okay, so number three was don't vote by media events, smears, personalities, or who you like or don't like, or what the media tells you because the media is biased. And we already know that they're, they're going to vote for what profits them. But Number three, vote for what the person stands for. Are they protecting our country? Are they protecting our rights? Are they con c protecting our foundation? Are they protecting our people? Okay. And number four, vote for leaders that will profit, protect, and promote our country and its values, its foundations, its beliefs, its rights, and its people. So if the candidate you're thinking of voting for does not do that, and you got to think about it. Okay, how does it protect our people? Well, if a baby is a people, 
They're assigned an angel at the moment of conception, not after they're born. And even if it was after they're born, a baby is a human being. It is the people of America, born in United States, an American citizen. Okay? If the person you're voting for does not protect its people, including a baby that has not come from the inside of the womb to the outside of the womb, a little people inside the womb that's going to be born on the outside of the womb, if, our, if the person you're voting for does not protect the people, then that's not the person you should be voting for. What does your candidate stand for? Okay? If you pray, God will show you. If you think of these things logically, there will be no problem who to vote for. Does your And you have to vote because whoever we put in leadership, God's only in control God's sovereign and he can do whatever he wants. But God said, hey, let's create man in our image. Let's give them authority and dominion and have them subdue everything. Okay? So you are partners with God. You have to vote. Okay? Your vote is led by the Holy Spirit. And your vote needs to be agreeing with the word of God. Whichever candidate agrees more with what they promote and what they are going to do in office is the candidate you need to vote for. Now, you, you can't vote for one or not one because uh, he did this or she did that or they do this. Don't look at their personalities, okay? We might not like their personalities. Don't even look at their history or the past. Just look at what are they saying with the words of their mouth. What are they promoting today, right now? What are they promoting? What do they believe? What, what are they saying? How are they saying it? So you need to vote for somebody that protects our country, our rights, our foundation, and our people. And whatever that means, whether that means building a wall so illegal car drug cartel people cannot come in, if that means um, protecting our people by protecting the, uh, a, a little person who's in the womb who hasn't come out of the womb yet, or if that means protecting our people by not changing our laws to uh, degrade women, to stone people, if you think that they said something against what you believe. Um, uh, you can't give people equal rights. All people are equal, but not, not everybody deserves equal rights. Because if you do something, you have to earn the trust. You have to, you have to, uh, if you come into our country and want to be a citizen, you have to agree with our laws. You have to agree with our ways. And if you don't, you are out of here. Either by the wall or um, either by... Um, a uh, system that you have to go through and swear allegiance to our country and what we believe in, okay? So your candidate has to protect the people, whether they're in the womb, whether they're crossing a wall selling drugs, whether they're trying to promote their religion, which kills and takes away uh, our rights as a country, or and you have to vote for a person that protects our foundational rights, and you have to uh, protect, you have to vote for somebody who protects our rights, um, what rights do we have? We have a right uh, to go to church. We have a right to worship. We have a right to say praise the Lord and uh, and and sing. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy did this uh, on a bus, counting our playing with our little kid's toe and not get kicked off because it offends somebody. Because we're talking about a pig. Okay, we have a uh, we have a right to bear arms, uh, to carry a gun uh, if we go through that proper process. To protect, we have a right to protect our home with a gun if somebody's going to be stupid enough to break into it. So we have rights, and we have we need somebody that's going to protect our country, our rights, our foundation, and our people. And if your candidate doesn't stand for those things, then you need to start speaking and praying in the spirit, start seeking God and asking Him who to direct you towards. So that's it. I'm going to have my little outline here, uh, like a little picture. Uh, on my post here so that you can share it and people can think about um, how to vote because some people say, oh, I'm not going to vote for they're both terrible. Well, they both might have terrible personalities right now. Trump is changing. Trump has been humbled and Trump is changing. So he's a baby Christian. And I know that doesn't matter to non-Christians, but in reality it does. Because uh, if you have a leader, a leader that's a Christian, you're going to have a, a lot of wonderful stuff, a lot of it's going to change the whole community, the whole the whole country. So anyway, my name is RobinBremer.net. I'm the author of 34 books and probably about 40 by next week. 
Um, check out my books. I'm all over Amazon. Just type in the name Robin Bremer, B-R-E-M-E-R, -E -E and about 16 pages will come up about me or more. Uh, read my books. Uh, I'm on YouTube under Feed My People Joy. I have a website, RobinBremer.net, and um, I'm a best-selling author. So check it out. Give me some good reviews. I don't like bad reviews. Don't give me no bad reviews, all right? <laughs> okay. Love you all. I pray for you all. I Even if you disagree with me, I love you, and I pray for you that God would tell you to show you the truth. <laughs> um, no, really, I, I love you. Okay. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Have a blessed day.